Hi, this is Jennifer from VxRail GSC team. Dell has published a DSA for the Apache Log4j remote code execution vulnerability. This is related to the CVE-2021-44228. On December 10th, 2021, a remote code vulnerability was published concerning the Apache Log4j library. And VxRail is impacted by this vulnerability. Please be advised, this is an ongoing event. Always check the advisory for frequent updates as they develop. On this article, we can find some fixes and workarounds. Please review the whole article. The workarounds described are meant to be a temporary solution. Upgrades documented in the advisory should be applied when available to remediate the vulnerability. I want to highlight that for a full mitigation on VxRail, we are required to apply the workaround on VCSA as well as on VxRail. If we scroll down, we can find those mitigations. So today we are going to work on the VCSA part. So if we click on the link that is on the workaround, it will direct us to the VMware page. Please have a look at the whole document as well. So if we go to the part of the workarounds, we can see there is an automated script that you can access here. And then there is a manual workaround. So today we are going to uh, see how to apply the manual workaround on version 7. So just as a quick overview, we will uh, need to address this vulnerability on the Vimon service, on the update manager service, on the analytics service, which we will run a script for that as well. And then finally, we will just verify that the changes were applied correctly. So let's have a look. We are going to log into vSphere. And just before we start with the workaround, uh, we strongly suggest to take a proactive uh, snapshot with the VM offline. So first, I'm going to check on which host is this stored. And we're just going to log in there. Uh, we can see the, the vCenter is here. So for before the taking the snapshot, uh, we are just going to shut down the guest OS. It would take a minute. Now the VM is powered off. So we are going to actions, snapshot, take a snapshot. And just the name we're gonna say before Take a snapshot. And then we're just going to manage. And we can see it has been successfully created. That's perfect. So now we can just power on the VM and it will take a minute. To come back as well. Okay, yeah, the VM is up again, so we can access vSphere. And we can now start with the workaround. Okay, so we can log into vSphere. And then look for the vCenter VM and we're going to SSH to the VM. Uh, we can use PuTTY or if you're using any other terminal, uh, we will log in as root. Yeah. 
So if we go back to our article, the first step of the workaround is the, the daemon service. So we're going to back up the existing Java Grapper daemon file. So we are just going to make a copy. And if you want to ensure that the copy is there, uh, we can just uh, go to the location and see that it's there. All right, so the second one is gonna be uh, an editor uh, to, to change uh, some lines inside the, the file. So we are just going to open the file. Let me show you what we need. So depending on the version here, you need to check on which version your vCenter is. You would need to update from this line to these two or from this line to these two. So let's have a look here. This is our center. Let me get the link. Okay, so if we access uh, this link of VMware, we are going to see which update are we. So we are on 70 update one. So if we go back to our article, we will need to follow this one, okay? So not this one this one so we are going to update this line by these two just in case you are not very familiar with the editor i'm just gonna uh, add here the next keys that we're gonna use so uh we are just gonna shift g to go to the end and this is the line that we need to, to update so i'm just insert and I'm going to delete this line as per the workaround and we're just gonna copy this one okay so then we escape and then colon right read and exclamation mark okay so the file is updated you can also Change, I mean, check that is uh, correctly showing there. So the next step is going to ensure the file permissions are set correctly on the file. So we are just gonna copy and paste as well. And this one. Perfect. And then lastly, we are just going to restart the vCenter services. So it will take a minute, so just be patient there. Okay, all the services have been stopped, so we are just going to start them now. Can take a couple of minutes again. Okay, we are back. So uh, we have all the services up and we can check the status with this command as well if you want so everything as expected so that was the last step of the vmon uh, we are just gonna go to next step which is update manager service okay just to leave this relogin again so uh, the next step, as we were saying, is to update the manager service. So the first um, you know, point is to back up the existing start line uh, file. So we are just going to copy and paste as before. If you want to check that, that the copy is there, you can just go to the location unless and we have our backup there. Okay. Then we are gonna use again the editor. Okay, I'm just adding again that in case you need help. So uh, we, we open with the editor and then we have to add the following line at the end of the file. Okay, so if we go Shift G to go to the end and insert I just want to put it at the end, so we're just going to add it here and then escape 
right quit and that's it so if you cut the file you will see it, it is here great and then the last step is to restart the update manager service so this time we are not going to restart all the services only this one so we need to wait a moment okay it has been restarted again if you want to check the status you can just do it like this and it is running so that was our last step for the update manager service so next step is going to be the analytics service for the analytics service it has been is highlighted because that part has been updated by vmware uh, recently there was initially another workaround so now we need to download this script and that will fix the analytics automatically so if we scroll up again under the attachments you can see there the clip where you can download the file okay so we need to, to download we have it already log into uh, vcenter we had already uh, open session i just cleared and then we need to use WinSCP to transfer the file. Okay, so we're just gonna use here. and then we can log in here as root. Perfect. So if we go to the TMP side, We have here the file, so we just need to transfer it over. Okay. And now we have it on the system. So once you have the file transferred, we just need to execute the script. And just so you are aware, this is going to restart as well the services. So this explains you a bit what the script does. So it will stop all the center services uh, like we did on step one. It will proceed removing these from their files and finally start all the vCenter services. So this step will take also a couple of minutes, as you know, while all the services have been stopped and started again. So let's give it some time. As the article mentioned, we can see here that vulnerable file that the script modifies here. So we are on the last step. The services were stopped, the changes were made, and we're just starting the services. This can take up to five to 10 minutes, depending you know, on the server. The services have fully started now. Okay, so um, we can just go to the last step, which could be to verify that all the changes have been applied correctly. So we're going to verify that the VMON services were started with this line. Okay, so we copy this. Just gonna do it here. So we need to find this line as true, which we can perfectly see here. Then we need to verify uh, that the update manager changes are shown under system properties. So first we're going to the location and just run the Java. And then we can see here system properties as true. All 
right which is supposed to appear and then the last check is to grab and it has to return zero lines so that's perfect we have correctly applied the workaround for 7.0 so thank you for watching and have a good day.